Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast. And in today's forecast, we'll be breaking down a large storm that'll be impacting the United States next week. This will bring a lot, including severe weather, the potential for snow, and as well as a lot of heavy rainfall and another big cool down across the United States. I'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast, but let's begin with what's happening across the United States today, and we'll begin Begin with the Northeast United States, and this is where there's a lot of activity unfolding today. Nothing in terms of severe weather or really any snowfall, but there are some showers and also a lot of cloud cover across this region. And behind this, there's going to be a little bit of a cool down. So right now across the Midwest, we are beginning to notice some northerly and westerly winds, which is ushering in some cooler weather to areas in the Midwest. But overall, this is going to continue throughout the day today. And by tomorrow, this will be impacting areas right along the immediate East Coast, bring some showers and perhaps maybe a couple of thunderstorms. But overall, it's not really a primed setup for a lot of severe weather or anything too crazy. So that's some good news. Overall, it's mostly just rainfall. Now, in the southeast United States, we have some cloud cover down there. But again, nothing really crazy as of right now. A few passing showers across Alabama. Otherwise, it is fairly dry, especially back out to the west. Across the Great Plains, dry as can be. We have a couple of clouds across parts of the northern plains. Other than that, it is beautiful weather there as of right now. Now, that will change by the way going into late this weekend and into next week i'll show you more details on that here in just a moment now, across the west coast of the united states west of the rocky mountains also very dry we have a very strong ridge in the upper levels that is dominating here across parts of the southwest united states so in the four corner states and that'll start to bring warmer air and drier air especially to areas even in texas and back through the central plain so that'll definitely be something to watch out for all right let's talk more about the jet stream here across the united states and give you an idea of what the weather pattern will be as we go into this weekend and into next week. So as of right now, we have a deepening trough that is across parts of the Ohio Valley and as well as the Midwest. Here's your ridge that's in place across the four corner states and near the high plains. That's what's keeping those areas dry and as well as warm. Now, as we go into the weekend, things are going to begin to change a little bit. So as we get closer to Sunday, that trough is going to move into areas in the northeast and then back in the southwest United States, there's not really any ridge there, at least in the upper levels. The ridge that's going to be there is actually going to be more of a surface-based ridge across parts of the Great Plains, but once we go into next week, that's when things get a bit more hairy, and they're going to become a much more active across the United States. So this is by Tuesday morning. Notice we have a trough in the upper levels that is going to be located just south of Arizona, and what this will end up doing as we go into late Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday is bring a lot of moisture to parts of the southern and central plains, and this will start to basically explode a bunch of showers and as well as storms, leading to the potential even for some severe weather so there will be some things to watch out for then once we go into wednesday and the thursday notice that low pressure system it's actually negatively tilted and it'll be moving across parts of the great plains and right behind this we have another trough that'll be back up in the northwest united states and all this is going to start to basically mingle together and explode into one big storm as we go in later into next week and this will also bring a pretty beneficial cool down to many areas so this is by friday into saturday notice these two low pressure systems begin to merge essentially as we get closer to Friday and to Saturday, one the, the leading trough that's going to be down here will actually go all the way into Canada, but it will weaken. And with that being said, the trough that's behind it will start to actually intensify a bit. And then this one will likely bring some showers, some storms, and this could even bring some snowfall. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to watch for next week. And obviously the jet stream only tells you a little bit of what's going to happen, but at least gives you an idea that it's going to get pretty active here across the United States. Now, in terms of the moisture, obviously we're going to be watching for a severe weather threat through the next several days. Notice the southern plains. Dew points in the 30s, maybe the 40s. That's pretty dry for this time of the year. Notice as we go into next week, we get a very strong southerly wind. And a couple of things to watch for will be one, Hurricane Norma that is currently in the Pacific Ocean will actually go into Mexico. And as it goes off to the north, that'll actually bring some moisture into parts of the southern and central plains. And that is why it's going to be pretty active next week as well. Once we go into Wednesday and to Thursday, that moisture goes nowhere. Notice the dew points are as high as the low 60s in parts of the Midwest, so that'll actually go as far north as the Midwest, and that'll bring a lot of rainfall. Going into the weekend, things become a lot, lot calmer because of that trough behind it. It'll bring a cold front, and you'll see that here in just a second, and then eventually we'll be much drier as we go into next weekend.
And in regards to severe weather, one of the other things we need to look at is the instability, because the instability is what fuels severe weather. And what we're going to look at here is where the instability is the greatest throughout the week. So this is next Tuesday. Notice we'll have instability in the southern plains, but there's really no organized area down there, at least on Tuesday. Going to Wednesday, things will likely become a bit more organized. We'll probably get some sort of cold frontal boundary, maybe even a dry line going, and that could initiate some severe weather in Oklahoma and parts of Texas. Again, this is just a general area. It very well could change, especially especially since we're still six to seven days out. By Thursday, things become a little bit more uncertain, but we might see some severe weather. Where would it exactly happen? It would probably be somewhere in here, but even then, again, there's a lot of uncertainty. And right now, the GFS model, for example, really isn't showing much instability, which would likely mean the severe weather threat will be on the low end of things. This will be going into Friday, much longer stretch here. That would extend all the way from Michigan back into parts of Texas. Now, where would severe weather happen here on Friday? Again, it's really uncertain. We're too far out to really give you an exact location but this would be the general facility of where there would be at least a threat of severe weather. But as of right now, it seems like all the threats next week are probably going to be on the lower side of things in comparison to potentially being high. But Wednesday, I would say, would be probably the day that you might want to watch out for the most closely if you're in Oklahoma and Texas. Now, in terms of the rainfall over the next several days, this is the future radar. So again, notice the northeast and as well as the east coast will be dealing with some rain today and tomorrow. That'll start to move out as we go into Sunday. We actually could get some snow in parts of like the mountains, for example, and as well as back into parts of upstate New York on Sunday. Eventually going to Monday and to Tuesday, notice the moisture starts to arrive into parts of the Southern Plains. That's when rain will start to ramp up there. By Wednesday, things will start to become a lot more active across the Southern and Central Plains. Look at this by Thursday. This is just a crazy sight to see. We have a huge patch of snow at least being re resembled here on the GFS model by Thursday morning. And also a lot of rainfall across the Midwest and then a bunch of storm activity going back down to the South. So this is just a large area that we will have to watch for next week. Again, and we could very easily see an explosion of showers and storms. Going into Friday, that rainfall moves across parts of the Midwest. Notice again, there is a chance for snow next week. I am not kidding about that. That is actually a legitimate chance. Uh, the Weather Prediction Center has been monitoring this, and there is definitely a chance for at least some snowfall there. Will it happen? Where will it happen? All that stuff. Again, it's a little bit uncertain since we are still seven days out, but it is definitely a possibility. Going into next weekend and into early next week, there is some signs of some more snowfall, maybe even in the Central Plains, but again, really uncertain uncertain anywhere past about Friday or so. In terms of snowfall, it's way too early to be talking about specifics, but I just want to kind of give you an idea of where the GFS model is showing where that snow would fall going through Saturday. So again, notice there would be a pretty big stretch here across the Northern Plains, maybe even the upper Midwest. But overall, again, nothing out of the ordinary here. It would just be a few inches of snow for the most part. In terms of the temperatures, we're going to have above average temperatures through the weekend and into early next week. The only exception is the Northeast United States. What we need to watch for next week, really primarily by the late week, will be this big cold blast out of Canada. This is really cold weather, by the way. I mean, we're talking about really below normal temperatures across parts of the Northern Plains and even parts of Montana. And then a lot warmer weather on the eastern side of that trough. This is by Friday, by the way. So how far south and east will this actually go? That's a huge question mark because this could easily pull much further down here to the south impacting areas in Oklahoma and also might just stay up here to the north and that's what the GFS model is showing much cooler weather up here meanwhile a little bit of a cool down in the southern plains but nothing dramatic so that'll be something to watch for make sure to stay tuned we'll keep posted with the latest make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video